Have you ever thought about generating your own solar power or wind power, but couldn't figure out how things would tie together? If so, then I hope this video will be useful to you. I'm going to give you a pretty high level overview of the kind of challenges involved and a couple of common approaches to the problem. So I hope that's going to be interesting for you. Let's get started. What I realized kind of quite, it took me a while actually to realize that this was it, that the key to this kind of self-generating of electricity, it's, it's all about matching. We need to match various things uh, depending on the approach we, we choose. So it's about matching voltage, frequency, occasionally phase, and it's about matching demand. So with those things in mind, let's go on and look at a couple of options. There are two basic approaches really um, that 99% of all um, self-generated power installations follow. So let's go take a look. But before we do, please note, I'm not going to get into any practical details. If you've picked up an electrical screwdriver, please put it down right now. Okay, approach number one. Conceptually, this is what we'd like to do. Right? We have our power coming from our solar panel or our wind turbine, and we'd like to power some appliances, one or more appliances. In here, I've used a little light bulb, um, but it could be anything. Now, um, I've drawn a dotted line there because it really is just a conceptual connection. We can't typically connect our, our solar panel or wind turbine to certainly not a domestic appliance. And here's why. Um, we're probably generating at somewhere between 12 and 48 volts and our electrical appliances tend to be 110 volts AC um, or two, up to 230 volts AC depending on where you are in the world. So if we're going to if we're going to use our generated power to power our domestic appliances, well, we've got a couple of things we need to match. So we've got to match our voltage. We've got to get to 110 volts in this case. We've got to match frequency. We've got to get to an alternating current of, again, 50 or 60 hertz, depending on where you are in the world. And you probably know that the device that we use to do that uh, is called an inverter. And if we put an inverter into our circuit, we actually can start to draw at least the indication of some wires, um, because now we could connect one to the other. We're almost there, but we're not quite, because our solar panel or our wind turbine is, is an, in terms of supply, is intermittent. The solar panel obviously only supplies power when the sun is shining, the wind turbine only when the wind is blowing. But our requirement for, typically for our appliances, is that they work every time we flick the switch. So there's a, there's a requirement for on-demand. So then the next thing we need to match then is the demand. And the way that's typically done in this kind of standalone system is with a, um, an array, of, a bank of batteries. So the, the way it's working here, we'll stick that in the circuit, is that the solar panels or the wind turbine the power that they're generating is used to charge batteries and then it is the battery power that is supplied through the inverter to the appliance when a, a switch is flicked. Okay, so we've done it. We've matched everything I think that we need to match for to make that this standalone kind of system work. Let's leave that there for now and go and look at a, at a different approach. So approach number two um, is, is about working in concert with the existing main supply. So, um, as you know, well, of course, your mains is, of course, supplied to your um, connected to your domestic appliances. And what we'd like to do conceptually is to jump onto that system with our, with our um, solar panels or our wind turbine. Um, we'd like to use, we'd like to share the same wiring and we'd like to power the same domestic appliances. Obviously, we can't do that in practice um, as simply as that, but conceptually, that's, that's what we're aiming to do. So let's go and look at what we're matching. Um, we talked at the end of the first example about matching demand. Now, of course, this is the cool thing about our main supply. It's always there when we need it. We flick the switch and, it, and things just work. So wherever the main supply is involved, I think we can assume that we have matched demand. So we get one tick in our box. Just drawing our conceptually dotted, conceptual dotted line um, a little bit slightly differently because I need to put in a gadget. Um, we need to get from our solar panel or our wind turbine to the main supply and we, our challenge is similar to the one we had before we need to match voltage and we need to match frequency and we already know that we do that with an inverter so we could tick those two things now before we were using the inverter to power a, a standalone appliance 
This time we want to use an inverter to actually mix our generated power in with the main supply. And when we're talking about mixing supplies together, we need to match a third thing, which is phase. Um, so a normal inverter won't do. We need a special kind of inverter known as a grid tie inverter that will take our DC current, change it into AC, but change it into AC so that it's exactly matched with our existing main supply. Once we've done that, we can start to um, put in some an indication of some real wiring so that we have, we're going from our solar panel or turbine to our grid tie inverter and then connecting into our existing main supply. And I've changed the last run of, of wiring to blue to indicate that we're now supplying to our appliance potentially a combination of mains power and power generated from our solar panel or wind turbine. So that's it. We've, we've achieved our aim of, of coming up with uh, an integrated system. So let's have a, just to finish off the video for today, there's loads of other areas we can go into here and we will do in separate videos, but the intention here was just to give you a, a, a real overview. So just to finish off, let's have a quick review of the, the approaches that we've, we've looked at over the last five minutes or so. We first of all looked at a standard alone system, very easy to understand, I hope you'll agree, has the slight disadvantage of requiring us to duplicate some wiring and some appliances. We then went on to look at the system that's integrated with the, the existing mains supply system, um, which gives us the advantage, I suppose, that we don't need to duplicate wiring or appliances. Something we didn't get into today, but I'd love to talk to you about more in a, in a future um, video, is that it, it, it opens up a possibility that the other system doesn't have of being able to sell energy back to the power company, which um, is one reason why the approach on the right um, is starting to become very interesting for people. But again, we'll save that particular story for another day. Thank you very much for your time, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Cheers for now.